Two months into reopening, Texas needs help. In fact, it needs thousands of helpers. At least that's what Edward Salzberg thinks. People want to get back to being social. That's when you need the contact tracers the most. The senior researcher at the Mullen Institute at George Washington University built a model to figure out how many contact tracers states need. So contact tracing is, in, in my mind, incredibly important. It works by finding out first who has the virus, then who they may have been around recently, and then getting those people tested and to stay away from others. Once you find someone who's positive, you really want to quickly reach out to anyone they've been in contact with. Governor Abbott set a goal of 4,000 contact tracers in late April. And as of last week, there were around 3,200. But lately, cases have skyrocketed. COVID hasn't suddenly gone away, but neither has our ability to slow the spread of it. Now Salzburg says the state needs 19,000 contact tracers. The most conservative modeling puts that number just over 10,000, about triple what we have now. I mean, there are a number of strategies that local um, governments have used to ramp up quickly. Salzburg says health departments should take advantage of free online training and high unemployment to hire. And when tracers call, pick up. Don't you want to help your friends before they spread it? To their family and friends. For businesses to stay open, contact tracing has to improve. And right now, Texas needs help. This is really your, your contribution to your community to try and stop the spread of this before the government needs to sort of take drastic action. In Fort Worth, I'm William Joy.